Jen Chir Chir was in church doing the anointing oil service and while receiving her bottle, she asked the man of God to pray for her for lumbar spondylosis, a condition that she'd lived with since 2019. Doctors had said that she would have to live off medication for the rest of her days, but Jesus Christ gave her what no man could give, healing. She came back a week later with the testimony. Let us listen. Spondylosis. Shida ya pressure na spondylosis. Umetoka wapi? Nimetoka bahati Nairobi. Unatumia mshipi? Nimewacha iko kwa nyumba. This is blood pressure and lumbar spondylosis. In the name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, be healed right now. Glorify Jesus. This is back problem, eh? Amen. Hallelujah. During the first of this month, siku kwa nimeenda kasi. Na sababu ni kuwa, uh, 19, uh, 2019, nilipatwa na shida ya lumbar spondylosis. Nika laswa langata hospital, nika pelekwa ya chaman medical center. Uh, from there, nika wanaenda kwa fisho kila mali. Shida ika, ika sidi. Nika enda madaktari kada. Wakaniambia mama, hauta hapoona, wea fanya hivi, wea utakua unakunywa tu dawa, ukongojia siku zako. Nikaambia nisawa na nikakupali. Kwa siku ingine, hata kasi ni kwetu, nimechulika na tu mini mkonjwa mkonjwa. Hata kama sasilia nimeomba niende off, na handi kwa tu, chen, sick, sick, sick. Mpaka siku moja nikachibulisa, kwa ni mkonjwa, haitawai kuisha. Bas, eh, mwanso wa ii mwesi, nilikuwa nimesema tu siendi kasini na lala. Nikiwa na lala, nikawa na jesecha remote kwa TV. Kidogo nikawana prophet Alan, akiongea upande ule. Siku kama ni upande ule ama ni upande u. Nikasema, ah, awa ni watumishi wa mungu wa kawaida. Nikaenda kwa channel ingine. Nikachesa patapotea, nikakuliwa pesa yote ilikuwa kwa mbesa. Nikarudi, nikarudi kwa remote, nikasema, ama roo wangu iliwa safibaya kuhusu mtumishi wa mungu. Nikarudi tena, nika tafuta tafuta hapo, nikapata... Uh, uh, Open Events Ministry. Nikafurai. Nikasikisa ma, ma ubiri. Ika nikusa roo. Akaansa kusema mwenye achaokoka. Aokoke. Nikaansa kufuatilia. Nikaokoka. Badae, Transformer ikalipuka. Kulipuka tukaka kwa kisa siku mbili. Roo yangu ikaniambia, eh, na nitapatache ile kanisa. Nikakumbuka, mutumishi wa mungu wa lisema, unakuja ukifika kapete police station, unaesa, utapata kanisa hapo. Siku hiyo nikamuka uh, karibu sa kumina moja kamili. Nikateremuka kwa stairs. Nikataka kufungua ket, nikaangalia kumbe kifungu imefunjika. Nikasema shetani ni mungu. Sasa nataka kwenda kwa mtumishi wa mungu ni ombewe kifungu nje hii imefunjika. Nikakonga sasa kwa awe ni wana simamia maplot. Nikakonga, nikakonga, naangalia saa, naona saa inaenda. Nikasema shetani we ni mungu. Hata kama nikisa, mbaka nifike kwa hiyo kanisa. Kidogo kidogo haka amuka. Haka niambia nini, nika muambia kifungu yangu nje hii eh, imearipika nifungulie niende. Nikafunguliwa, nikakucha, nikapanda kari visuri, nikafika hapo kwa archives, nikapanda visuri. Nikafika sasa kapete police station. Kufika kapete police station, nikaenda kwa askari mungine hapo. Nikaambia naenda kwa kanisa inaitwa open events. 
Kaniambia hata situ hiyo kanisa. Nikasema naishi hatani, kwani hataki niipone na naona watu wanapona. Nikasema nikikucha mimi sikukucha nirudi nyuma, nilikucha tu niendelee mbele. Ndio hiyo nikashika kutembea sasa kidogo kidogo nikaona iru nikafurahi nikaruka ruka sasa nikawa na raha kufika hapo nikafurahi nikaingia kwa nyumba ya bwana ikafika wakati wa maombi nikaombewa nikapona instantly ningependa kuhimiza watu yako ulipona so the problem ulikuwa nayo ilikuwa lumba spondylosis ilikuwa sunday ama friday ukipona ilikuwa sunday ona sunday oh, it was on a sunday yes my mission is ya kuwa jesus is the light of the world Alleluia. you follow him will not walk in darkness but we love the light of life amen, amen. hallelujah hallelujah